Yeah, good day all. I'm just going to uh, show you guys what I got done in the uh, brand new pumpkin garden. So, yeah, I cleared out a whole bunch of more stuff. That uh, silly vine still there. I didn't, didn't have a chance to uh, get the tractor, so I'll pull that out tomorrow. Um, yeah. I grabbed some sort of compost from the compost pile. And I piled those out um, in, I forget the kind of spacing, I'll have to Google it for you guys, but uh, sort of a triangular pattern. So each one of these mounds here is going to become a pumpkin. I'll probably move that banana and put it outside. Make a banana circle out of that with all the weeds I pulled out of here. Still haven't decided. My main... Uh, Goal is to get as many pumpkins in the ground as I can. Well, wow, this, this is rough looking compost, but we'll keep adding nitrogen to it and we'll pile a whole bunch more leaves here. Like I've said in my previous videos, there's no shortage of organic matter. It's just the labor and the time getting it in here. It's going to take a few days, but we'll get there. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you the pumpkins I planted. Got this little guy, just pulled a sprout out of my garden, chucked it in here. And again, I have my little cage, just keeps the brush turkeys out with the paver on top. They're kind of silly, if they really wanted to, they could kick this over, but um, yeah. So hopefully that keeps it turkey proof. Um, and hopefully the turkeys will leave this for a few days before they even notice that there's uh, good compost in here. I, uh, the darker material <coughs> here on the inside is uh, from my worm bins. So I pulled out a three gallon bucket of that. What is that in metric? Three times four, 12 liter. So there's uh, 12 liters of pretty good compost in the middle. It has a lot of worm castings and worms and uh, eggs in there. So that'll get this garden started and uh, give that little pumpkin some food. Uh, so it can get going. Um, with this one, I dug up a more mature plant. And everyone says you shouldn't do this. I'm probably going with them that this is a bad idea. But you know what? You only live once. And if it doesn't work, uh, we'll just pop another pumpkin in here. And it'll be up in a week or two. So I'm trying to save some time here. Get... Uh, at least one pumpkin plant cranking as soon as I can. But um, yeah, we'll see what that looks like tomorrow. It's pretty sad right now, of course, because I've moved a uh, plant that is, I don't know, two or three weeks old. You really shouldn't do that. Uh, I brought over a cassava too. It's just going to live here for the moment until I uh, get some more mulch and spread it out. Uh, next order of business after doing these pumpkins is to mulch the whole thing. So collect just a heap of leaves, uh, like 30 centimeters deep I want this whole garden to be. So we're looking at hundreds of wheelbarrows, but you know, you do it one, one thing at a time. Uh, I might take the rest of the compost bin and just dump it over the fence using the tractor. Um because half of it's sand, and I'm hoping, I don't actually know, maybe you guys that live in sand can, live with sandy soil, can tell me whether the sand will wash out of the compost. I'm guessing it will, but I have no idea. Either way, um, I'll put a certain amount of material, just get it in the garden to begin with, so uh, it can start feeding plants in the future. But uh, I might use quite a bit of it for the new worm bins I'm starting to and uh, I'll show you guys that another day. Uh, so a decently productive day. I've got some more mounds to put pumpkins in. Uh, unfortunately, uh, pulling 24 liters of this good compost, I mean, that's, that's about all I can pull out of a worm bin without hurting the worms at uh, one time. So we'll have to go to my backup worm bin and uh, I'll see what sort of stuff's in there uh, for the next couple pumpkins. But uh, it's a bit of a shame because I wanted to get at least 10 really good pumpkins going. 
and I'm on the fence. It's like, do I spread the compost evenly between uh, the next 10 or 20 pumpkins I'm planting, or do I just do some of them really well and just hope that the worms catch up and add the compost later? I haven't decided, uh, but we'll figure all that out. I mean, it's, it's not an emergency either way. Pumpkins grow like crazy in Australia. You just really, they need just enough uh, organic matter and enough fertilizer to get going. So I think a wheelbarrow full on each shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'd like to have two wheelbarrows for each plant and better material, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. You know, we'll just add some nitrogen to this. We'll see how my uh, my mates, the owner owners of these gardens, see if they like uh, human urine on stuff or not, because uh, that'll help uh, fertilize and break this mulch down, uh, mulch compost. And yeah, get us uh, fast, more fast tracked with these uh, pumpkins. But yeah, that's the garden for tonight. I'm getting bit by bitten by mozzies, so I'm out of here. Uh, but you guys have a great night. Smash like, subscribe. Hope to stay safe.